CES 2024 is right around the corner. And I imagine a lot of folks are wondering, will it be a big deal this year? Oh yes, my friends. It's gonna be a very, very big year. You're gonna wanna stick around. Welcome back everyone, I'm Caleb Dennison and I have so much exciting information for you today. So I'm not gonna waste any time. Let's just get straight into it. The first thing you need to know is that CES takes place a little bit later in January this year than it has in the past. The first official CES show day is Tuesday, January 9th. However, the date you wanna keep in mind to start tuning in is Monday, January 8th, because that's when the press conferences start and more importantly, that's when embargoes start to lift. When those embargoes start to lift on Monday morning, that's when I'll start showing you all the hot new TVs right here on this channel. Now, because I'm fortunate enough to get super early access, we'll have already shot video of the TVs and I'll have all the news ready to go. So if you aren't already subscribed to this channel, subscribe now because you'll see it here first and I normally don't suggest this, but now is a great time to hit that notification bell because as soon as that news breaks, our videos are gonna go up. And if you wanna be among the first to see what's up, you'll wanna watch our coverage right away. And you're gonna want to, trust me, because look, I already know what's coming and I am super excited. I'm not easily riled up anymore. So I have a feeling all of you out there are gonna be pretty thrilled as well. So what can we expect to see out of TVs at CES this year? Well, first, let me talk to you about something you should not expect to see. Some of you out there may already know what I'm about to say, right? I do not think you should expect to see any Sony TVs at CES 2024. Could be wrong, but I don't think so. I think for the second year in a row, Sony will not be bringing new TVs to CES. Now, before you go all keyboard warrior on me and start commenting your guesses as to what's going on with Sony, don't bother because big announcement here. On January 4th, I'm gonna put out a video not only telling you what's going on with Sony, but I'm gonna show you something we have never seen from Sony before. And I'm gonna tell you exactly what you can expect from Sony TVs in 2024. Guys, you will only see that content here. Well, maybe one other notable TV review channel, but I think we'll each have a very different take. And frankly, you could probably stand to watch both. Yet another reason to subscribe and hit the notification bell. January 4th, ahead of CES, big Sony reveal. You don't want to miss it. Also ahead of CES, I think there's going to be some interesting news from Roku, probably on the same day. I think Roku is going to surprise us this year. Now, I don't know that we'll see anything concrete from Roku at CES, but the news that's coming is definitely worth paying attention to. Okay, so what can we expect out of CES as far as TVs go? Well, let's start with OLED. Since Sony probably won't show new TVs, uh, it's gonna be all about Samsung, LG, Panasonic, and possibly Sharp. I don't think this is gonna be a revolutionary year for OLED. This is definitely feeling more like an evolutionary year for OLED. And that's both WRGB OLED with and without MLA and QD OLED. New features and bells and whistles? Absolutely. But any changes to the core technology? I don't think so. The OLED TVs will be exciting, but last year we got second gen QD OLED and. LG introduced MLA, and those were pretty big leaps forward for OLED. This year, probably nothing quite that earth-shaking. However, I will tell you that something OLED-related about which many of you complained this year will be addressed in OLED TVs in 2024. You'll just have to tune in to find out what that one thing is, but I bet some of you can probably guess. In fact, Guess away in the comments. I wanna see what you think is gonna happen. Perhaps though, this is the year that we see a prototype of an emissive display like OLED, but not OLED. Maybe this is the year we see a fully emissive quantum dot display. I don't know, that would be pretty huge. I have it on good authority that such a prototype does exist. I just, will it be at CES? We'll just have to find out. Now, as for our LCD, LED, mini LED, micro LED stuff, the theme is gonna be more. More nits, more hertz, more processing, more options. 
I think you're gonna find some of the specs are straight up staggering. I mean, truly mind blowing. I kind of can't believe it myself, honestly, but you'll see more is definitely going to be a theme. And so is big. This is the year guys that TVs get outrageously big. Now, to be fair, technically, TVs have already blown the 100 inch screen size barrier. It's just that most of the world hasn't seen them because most of the world hasn't gotten them. We already know that Hisense makes a 115 inch TV that you can buy in China. In fact, I think Linus figured out a way to smuggle one into Canada or something. But the reasons we haven't seen these massive screen sizes here in the US or the rest of North America are A, the North American market was kind of getting felt out. That was TCL putting out the 98 inch QM8 and Hisense putting out a couple of 100 inch screens here in the US. Also, Hisense seems to have had some good luck with its UX series. I heard that they were selling out faster than they could actually make them. So I expect for Hisense to double down on the ultra premium TV tier. But anyway, B, the other reason we haven't seen larger than 100 inch consumer level TVs here in North America is that there are some pretty insane shipping hurdles associated with those. I mean, you saw the Hisense UX box and that thing was just 85 inches. You also saw the 98 inch TCL box here. The boxes are massive already. Just imagine how huge they're gonna have to be for a 105, 110 or 115 inch TV. Like they're huge and heavy and you can only fit so many of those in a shipping container. And shipping container real estate is expensive. So I gotta figure that these massive TVs that we're likely to see are gonna come with some pretty staggering price tags, even from super cost competitive brands like TCL and Hisense. Anyway, massive screen sizes are most likely gonna be a literal big deal at CES 2024. And they won't just be huge. These are gonna be high performance, top tier flagship TVs with the very best tech in them, like moonshot level TVs. You guys, I'm just, I am so excited. There will also be TVs that masquerade as completely different devices. Also TV gaming features. I think they're gonna be huge at the show. I also believe that the only thing separating TVs and PC monitors this year is gonna be a TV tuner, really. And I think wireless TV, also gonna take off. Speaking of taking off, I gotta go. I have bags to pack and a flight to Vegas to catch. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Get subscribed, ring that notification bell. I'm telling you, you are not gonna wanna miss our CES coverage. I'll see you again real soon. And until then, here's two other videos I think you might like. Old enough to be your dad, but sexy enough to be your